Oakland County creating its own land bank authority. And the big goal here is to improve housing by creating an inventory of affordable housing while increasing value in the community. Fox News' Hillary Golson tells us how it works. This is a, a, a prime example of a property where it could go to the land bank once it's up and running. This site right off 8 Mile in Ferndale is a great example of a property that could be a fantastic candidate for Oakland County's new land bank once it's operational. We are talking with Ferndale right now, so Ferndale could decide that they want to take this on uh, and they have plans for it, then they can take this on. And if they don't, this will go to the land sale and then if someone else wants to buy this, they can do that. And if they don't, it'll come back to us. And then this is a, a, a prime example of a property where it could go to the land bank once it's up and running, because this is, to me, looks like a, a property that would need some brownfield redevelopment credits. The way this will work, once a property is foreclosed on for delinquent taxes, the land sale auction happens. Properties that aren't picked up can be transferred to the land bank. The same goes for new development, an opportunity that could mean revitalization and economic growth, a task that's already been happening to some extent. We've currently been operating what we would call a quasi land bank. When properties don't sell at auction, we hold them in our office and we maintain them and then we try to work with the community to develop it, uh, work with developers as well uh, and make sure they're not speculators, people that are just going to buy it and sit on it and hold it. We want people who are willing to work with the community to see what the best use is. The next step in getting the land bank up and running in Oakland County now that the land bank authority has been signed off on is getting a board in place. We need board members. There are going to be five board members, the people that I mentioned earlier. So we want people to apply. That application process will start uh, sometime in mid July uh, and we're hoping to have the board up and running by mid August. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.